Lyft driver robbed, assaulted, and then says her rider threatened to shoot her just moments after picking that woman up in West Oklahoma City. And now she has a warning for other drivers. News Force Taylor Mitchell talked with her today as police look for the suspect. The Lyft driver tells us she picked up a rider from the Apex apartment complex behind me. And shortly after, things took a turn for the worse. Never will I ever drive for anybody. Nobody. Not DoorDash, not Lyft, not Uber. Nope. Renee Martin says she was punched 8 to 12 times before even leaving the parking lot. She says the woman also stole her wallet and phone and then came to this terrifying threat. She says, I got a gun. Either get out of here or I'm going to shoot you. According to Martin, it all started after she canceled the ride. The smell of marijuana was overwhelming, so I said to her, look, come find space. I'm going to roll the windows down. I don't mean to be rude. And then she started screaming at me. And I said, well, ma'am, maybe it would be best if I just canceled the ride. And then all of a sudden she starts punching me in the side of the head. Police are still looking for the woman. In the meantime, they recommend drivers to have cameras in their car. Obviously, uh, this is someone who we want to get identified. Martin claims Lyft has not been helpful. Even the police officers tried to get a hold of their safety team on Tuesday night. Couldn't get a hold of anybody. She only had an initial for a name on Lyft. I don't understand why Lyft drivers have to have, and Uber drivers have to have background checks, but riders can use fictitious names. In Oklahoma City, Taylor Mitchell, Oklahoma's News 4. All right, Taylor, thank you. Now, a spokesperson with Lyft says they've contacted police to offer support with any investigation. In addition, they tell us the writer's account has been permanently removed. Martin says her phone was sold at a nearby Walmart, so police are working to get it back for her.